Welcome back to Build Life Overland. I wanted to do a quick video on this automatic jack. We're working on the enclosed trailer here uh, that's gonna be kind of our, I like to say crawler hauler, haul the side-by-sides and uh, sleep in when we're done. So we're doing a conversion on it and this jack was part of it. So this is a, a Uriah. I just bought it off Amazon. You know, I have looked at these. I own a construction company. We do a lot of roofing and siding. Uh, and we own 20 trailers and we're forever jacking putting stuff onto the uh, trucks and you know it's not that big a deal but I thought for this one I get one of these electric ones I looked at them I always thought they'd be a good candidate for the dump trailers because they have batteries on them and I didn't want to mess with it for trailers that don't already have a system requiring a battery and then I found these These plug into your seven point pin and use the battery off your vehicle. That was kind of a game changer, so I decided to give it a go. So I originally thought this would be kind of a how-to video, uh, but putting it on was so easy uh, that I don't even think it's worth a video. It's literally on this style, uh, these three bolts, and they're threaded, so that's it. So you gotta take the uh, foot, off the bottom of this jack as well as the one you're taking off three bolts pull it out put the new one in three bolts put the leg back on that's it i just did it with it on my truck um, it comes with a manual jack this is a crank and what i've found so far if you want to talk about pros and cons um, i think what makes these work so well is that they have a fine thread screw inside this jack or the gears uh, are finer I'll call it uh, and it makes this motor have to work less when you have to do it manually and you can uh, I just leveled this up to do some other work in the trailer there's a bit of resistance because you're you're doing it through the motor um, but it takes a lot of cranks to get it up and down and you can't use the motor unless it's plugged into a vehicle uh, not much of a downside, you know, but on this I wanted to level it out and after I pulled the truck out the hitch was pretty high, the coupler was, uh, so to put it down took a lot more uh, turns than it would with a regular one, but not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to back my truck in and I'm going to show you guys how this works. scenario because this uh, trailer was put back down after it came off the truck a little bit of adjustment and I would now back in under it not a big deal put it down and run away uh, if I hadn't been messing with it in the interim and you have a trailer electric jack and you pull it with the same vehicle all the time this would already be set not have just backed underneath the ball to begin with put the thing down and you're out of there uh, I really like this. This is kind of like I said a game changer that you could plug it into the back of the truck. The installation couldn't be easier. Um, this is a 10,000 pound jack. This is a 7,000 pound trailer. I put a side by side in it. Probably would have been fine uh, with the smaller jack. Um, but I don't know. I, I think this is great. I've always kind of wanted one. I thought they were you know, $800 and a real pain in the neck with a battery system, you're a thousand bucks in, the battery's always dead, never works, and you're stuck, or other people that want to use it, uh, if, if you brought a battery with you to put it on and off, it just didn't seem worth it. But this is great because all our other trucks can plug into it. You can use it just as long as you have a seven pin, which is what you need to pull the trailer anyway. So um, I think this is a great idea. We might see more of these in the future. I'm going to run it on this for a while and see what I like. It's got a rubber stopper. Hang on to this thing because you will need it 100%. I might make some kind of holder uh, to put in here. And I'm surprised, you know, it didn't have something on the jack itself that you could store this because it really, 
doesn't but we'll come up with something to make it work probably just throw it inside the trailer would work just fine with our other stuff anyways hope this was helpful guys i don't want to make too long a video on something this simple uh quick easy to search and find uh, but i think this is a win i'll put a link in the description below uh, so you guys can find it on amazon if it's something you like helps our channel out a little bit and uh, subscribe and follow along if you want to see the rest of this build uh, that's what we're working on plus a bunch of other ones hope to see you there thanks for watching Oh yeah, it's also got a light.